Okay, guys, uh, this sweep is gonna be. Uh, so we are talking a lot about uh, when my opponent posts uh, one knee on the mat. We talked about when my opponent is on the feet too. Uh, and that one we're gonna use lasso plus uh, one de la Riva hook. I used that sweep in two competitions against uh, two tough opponents. Uh, this position is very uh, is very strong because as you have your lasso with your leg, uh, right leg in my in my case, uh, when you place the de la Riva using the same leg you have uh, your last controlling, it's pretty easy to bring your opponent's posture down and move your body around the leg, finding an angle, and then just just by bringing the collar down and doing a little uh, movements, extending your legs, you can uh, break down your opponent's posture and make him fall down. So very easy sweep. Nothing is more easy than this one. Uh, but how are we gonna, let's see if, yeah, we can work with this side. Uh, we have the lasso. Of course, I'm just like uh, passing my leg, uh, in involving his arm like without uh, too much attention, but you guys in the fight, you should uh, make it with more intention. So what are we gonna shoot? Uh, what, do, what do we need to look right here? So his knee position, right? So if he has his knee wide open like this, it's gonna be pretty hard for me and almost impossible, I could say, to set up a De La Riva outside, right? Why? Because my hip is too far from his foot. And we are talking about the hip position since the beginning, right? So the hip position is very important if you wanna uh, catch, uh, catch the De La Riva in the right, right situation. So when he is like this, so we have options to work with uh, reverse in close guard also, we can grab ankle and start to do sweeps. But as I said, so the simplest sweep possible is when I have my De La Riva working outside and also plus a lasso guard controlling. So if my opponent has his knee wide open, so the only thing I should do is about move myself away because when I move myself away, so right here it's hard to get De La Riva. When I move myself away, doing a hip scape to out there, to my diagonal, I can keep my shoulder on the same place and then move myself on uh, to my back on diagonal. If you see, I start to open the door to my reverse de la Riva. What happened here? If I place the reverse de la Riva and uh, I keep my posture sideways like this, I cannot reach pressure on his... Uh, uh, on his leg behind behind his knee with this de la Riva because my knee is pointing to the side too. So I should bring my knee pointing to the ceiling to get connect his shoulder on his knee. In that scenario, as I'm sideways, uh, it's easy to tie posture up because I'm not connecting my de la Riva uh, pretty much and I'm not using my hand on the collar as a support. We started working with the same side of the collar and we placed the De La Riva, right? So what are we going to do? My hip, I should bring my butt and connect my butt uh, over, his, over his foot like this. So we have collar, uh, De La Riva and lasso. What are we going to do? Move myself close to my opponent's foot. What happened here? Even if Thai, for example, uh, I can hold the position here, but just given like uh, just showing one scenario. If Ty Ty tries to uh, it's, it's not a step backward, but move backwards, I can follow him pretty much because I have like hand on the right on the right place, the right collar. I have my hand on the sleeve, and I have my butt close to his uh, foot, so I can lay down again and bring his posture back. Uh, his posture back closer to me one more time. So my knee, if I work with my knee wide open in that in this first moment, will be hard because I lose my mobility about my hip, right? So as we talked before, uh, when we are doing flow lasso, when my knee is wide open, my hip is stuck on the mat. 
so I'm fully flat. So when my knee is pointing up like this, I I can have more, I can uh, do more balance and move my opponent, finding a better angle to attack. So what are we gonna do after we get here? My knee, I should point to the ceiling, so I have my pressure on the De La Riva. My hand is working like we normally do in the lasso, back to hand on the leg, elbow closing towards the body, and we're gonna switch the colors in that moment. So as I'm controlling both sides of his posture, uh, my idea right here is keep his shoulder uh, as more close as I can towards his, his own knee. So I'm gonna grab the cross collar and bring his posture down, making this, uh, this controlling much tighter, right? More tighter, sorry. No, more tight. Okay. More tight. So what do we do here? If I try, for example, we stretch my leg in that scenario or just like drag my opponent to the side, will be impossible because we are working on the same line. So what do we should, what do we should find first? Move the body to diagonal and then create some angle to drag my opponent while I'm extending my leg. So we have hand on the collar, hand on the sleeve, knee pointing up. What am I going to do? To move myself to the side, if, if you are like, like an expert moving your body on the, on the ground, maybe you can like do some shrimpscape. But trust me, it's hard for me too. So I always do use my hand, my, my foot as a support on the mat, like stepping and moving myself. So there are a different, there are a, a important detail you should take care uh, that, which is, if you just bend your body to the side by using your foot, you cannot find the angle. So you should move your hip and move your upper body. Move your hip and move your upper body. So look at here. He is uh, side on on my face. So I'm looking to his shoulder and his knee. What am I gonna do? Just by bringing my knee towards my chest, I can lift a little his hip and leave the pressure. Uh, this foot is, is put into the mat by bringing him. So I'm gonna bring and then sweep him for this side. Right after I do this, uh, if I sit up uh, releasing this De Riva hook, he can uh, reset his posture and then come up together me. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sit up and catch the leg. I can catch uh, the cuff, the shim, or I can grab the pants. Right after I do this, my first step will be bring the leg towards me. I can right now, after I have the leg, switch, sleeve, to collar, and then I can come up and pass the guard. So the idea after I get the, the De La Riva hook, is go around the leg. I cannot just turn my body, bend my body uh, to the side. I should move my whole body and uh, create some, not L, but some diagonal position on my opponent. And he's here. So for example, I'm playing flow lasso, foot on the shoulder or foot on the hip. I move myself to the side. I try to catch the De La Riva here, but it's hard. What I do, I move myself more, find a space, catch the La Riva. Now the second step will be bring my hip towards his foot. We are tied right now. My knee is pointing to the ceiling. My hand is working perfect on the lift. I'm gonna switch hands, grab the collar. Bring his posture down. As I'm bringing his posture down, he cannot uh, posture up anymore. So right after you have that set up, even if he tries to uh, stand up with his back leg, I'm still getting hold of him uh, because he has this shoulder too close to his knee that is impossible for him to posture up, right? So to move myself around the leg, I should step on the mat, bend the body, side on, move the hip, bend the body, move the hip, bend the body, move the hip. Why? I find the angle. What am I gonna do? If I try drag my opponent from here, 
is gonna be tough. He is too far from my hip. So main rule since the beginning, bring him towards my hip. As more close his knee is from my hip, better will be. I stretch and I sweep him. So first action, I should do a pendulum. Pendulum? Pendulum. Pendulum. Boom. Catching the leg. Uh, whatever you catch here is good. Uh, wherever you catch here is good. Pants is a good option. I bring his leg towards me. I catch everything with my leg and my elbow. I switch slave to collar. And then I come up, pass guard, hug the head, whatever I want to do. Uh, will work because we are right on the side without any kind of guard and we are controlling the closer leg. All right, so very nice sweep. Uh, I believe you have right now uh, all the variations possible to use lasso to use lasso hook sweep. Uh, also, uh, two variations they think about just lasso, but you have possibilities so you can work you can uh, actually put in work or you can wait uh, your opponent uh, like move around you give you opportunities and then you apply the positions you already know all right enjoy guys <laughs>